let's discuss the legal rights of the women in Islam. Legally, men and women are equal. If for the crime they commit, they get the same punishment. For example, if a man kills a woman, the man is put to death. If a woman kills a man, she is put to death. According to the law of Kisas, mentioned in Surah Bakra, chapter number 2, verse 170 and 179. And furthermore, if any organ of the body is damaged, irrespective whether it is the eye, the ear, the hand, irrespective whether it's of man or woman, male or female, the punishment is the same. And if suppose someone murders someone, and if the family members want to forgive by taking diya money, it doesn't make a difference who is forgiving, whether the family member is a man or a woman, both of them are equal. They have the right to forgive. The punishment for the men and women in Islam for the same crime, it is the same. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 38, As to the thief, be it a man or a woman, chop off his or her hand as a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When someone robs, irrespective whether it's a male or a female, the punishment is the same, it is the chopping of the hand. Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 2, As for the fornicator, whether it's a female or a male, whether it's a woman or a man, give each hundred lashes as punishment. That means if someone does fornication, irrespective whether it's a woman or a man, the punishment is the same, hundred lashes. In Islam, legally men and women are same. The women even have a right to be a witness. In most of the religions, women are not permitted to be a witness. Even the Jewish community, just a few decades earlier, at last later, 1950, they were discussing, should they give the woman the right to be a witness? Islam gave that right for a woman to be a witness 1400 years ago. And Quran protects the woman. Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 4, that if someone lays an allegation against the chastity and modesty of a woman and does not produce four witnesses, give him 80 lashes as punishment. That means if you lay an allegation on the modesty or chastity of a woman, and if you cannot produce four witnesses, you get 80 lashes. For a small crime in Islam, you produce two witnesses. For a big crime, four witnesses. That means in today's world, it is so common, day and night, you have men and women abusing each other. You know the men, they call dirty names to the women. Many of them call them prostitute. In an Islamic country, in an Islamic state of law, if a man does such a thing to a woman, calls her a prostitute, and if he cannot produce four witnesses, he gets 80 lashes. And if he produces four witnesses, and if any one of them falters, all of them get 80 lashes. This is how much Islam protects the women. I don't know in any law in the world, whether it be America, whether it be UK, whether it be Canada, whether it be India. If you take an objection, if a woman goes to the court of law and says, that man abused me, what can you do? I don't know of any case in which a woman took a man for abusing her. What punishment? In Islamic law, 80 lashes. If that law is implemented anywhere in the world, a man will think a million times before abusing a woman. This is how Islam protects the woman. And in the Western world, when a woman marries a man, she takes the name of the husband. In Islam, she has the option to take husband's name or maintain her maiden name. And in many of the Islamic countries, the woman, even after marrying a man, she maintains a maiden name. 